to your right hand. And you. We get into that car from an unnamed brand. It's basically what you have in a hotel. <laughs> Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. How you all doing? Let me know in the comments. I always like to hear how you doing. Um, Today's actually a very, very chilly day in London. Today's a Thursday. It's Thursday the 3rd of October and it's like 6 degrees. It's actually so, so chilly. Um, but I'm in central London this morning. I'm in a suit as you can tell and I am about to go to a breakfast meeting. I thought I'd vlog today just because it's quite a nice day. Um, my mum's also coming into town which is very exciting. She's on her way from Durham which is wonderful. Um, so we're going to be having a whole weekend with my mum. This is a very lovely part of this video that is going to be sponsored but I'm going to be telling you more about that as well further on in the video once I'm home. But yeah, I'm going for breakfast with Debenhams this morning at the Fitzroy Hotel which is just off of Houston. It's beautiful. With Patrick Grant who's a British tailor and fashion designer which is very exciting. Very fancy um, so I thought I'd put a suit on make a bit of an effort. And then I'm going to be going to a press day after this with Next to see their Christmas stuff which I know sounds really weird. I'm saying Christmas in October but it's on the Way. and then I pick my mum up from the station but we'll let all of that unfold. This is where I'm going to be having breakfast, it's very very fancy so I'm just going to walk through there now and um, yeah I'll catch you guys once we're inside. Don't cover me babe this is apparently like a renovation of a hotel, it never used to be like this, um, but genuinely it's got like dark panelling going on, loads of like leather, and this is where we're going to be having breakfast. Sorry, it's very loud, um, we just finished breakfast. I'm going to go and have a look at the um, collection of Devon to show you guys all the pieces, but um, it's very, very amazing. We're just going to talk from the designer. Um, Patrick's basically saying it's all about sustainability and how men's wear fashion has changed. So I'm going to show you the collection over there and um, on to the next event. Breakfast is delicious. <laughs> Okay, so we finished up our breakfast with Debenhams, it was very, very lovely. Um, we just got a... Uh, I'm blamed Sam. Sam Gray, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Let's explain the situation. So, this is the vault. I put the vault in. We get in said car from an unnamed brand. Yeah. Um, and it dropped us at the vault. It did. So it did exactly what it did on it the tin. It we, said what on the tin. What we told it to. The, uh, the only issue is that the vault and the vault vault where we need to go is the other side of the river. Any Londoners out there know it's not where we need to be. So now we're walking essentially where we've just been. That's like a tourist spot. Yeah. yeah. Near the London Eye. <laughs> I was just saying to the lads, I genuinely feel like Christmas is my most favourite time of the year. I absolutely love this. This is literally living the dream. I am genuinely obsessed with this. Next home is amazing. All of the blacks look so nice. Love that. So we're looking at some of the tailor and, and next, honestly, truly, do smash it every year when it comes to the tailor. And we're just looking at this print here, which is very um, Great Gatsby, like 1920s-esque, and it's got like a different colour lapel, which is amazing. Right, Lucas, you're okay. It's quite elaborate one. That was that was a really poor. Oh, glowy. Oh. What are you gonna go for? So I'm back home now and I've just finished up with a couple of press days this morning. It was really nice. I feel very festive. It's kind of all of the weather's changed now and everything's getting a lot cooler and seeing the Christmas stuff made me so excited. I literally can't believe it's two months into Christmas. It's nuts. But yeah, I'm back at home. I'm about to pick my mum up from the train station in about half an hour. So I thought I'd quickly nip back, drop my bags off and then go and grab her. As I'm just about to nip out the house, I thought I'd quickly tell you about the exciting part of this video that is kindly sponsored by Teal or Tiella. I'm not quite sure how you say the brand name, but it's spelled T-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And it is a luxury bed linen and just linen general company. And they are fantastic. I'm going to be leaving a little insert to the website now. They are the most premium linens towels. And they reached out and said, hey, we love your room. We love your style. We'd love to give you some bed linen. For me, the experience of sleeping and having a good night's sleep is possibly one of the best feelings when you go to a hotel and you only have that really cozy night's sleep that you're like, 
that was amazing. And I need to recreate that at home. So when Teal got in touch, he said, hey, would you like to try some of our beds? I was like, yes, please, I would love to. I've heard very great things. They're stocked in quite some premium retailers, which again, I'm gonna be linking down below. And truly, I'm very, very excited. I love a good night's sleep, and I think if you can invest the most you possibly can in beds, mattresses and bed linen, you get so much better sleep and it's just so much worth it. So the box arrived a couple of days ago and I've just been waiting to uh, get it open and obviously when I was filming. So um, yeah, I'm going to be popping it on my bed, showing you what's in the box and then I'm going to be having a sleep this evening and then I'm going to document it in the morning and see how I've slept. Hopefully I slept really well, I imagine I will. So this is the box that's been sent over. I'm very, very excited and I've heard, like I say, really great things and the reviews online are fantastic. So this is the name of the brand. I'm not actually sure how you say it. It's Teal or Tiele, um, but it's Love Luxury by Trade Linens, and truly, I'm so, so excited. They've sent me over like a little addition. So we've got some bed linen, which is so lovely, and then also some other goodies. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So they've very kindly sent over a whole sleep kit. So we've got two of the Oxford pillowcases, which are 300 thread counts. That's absolutely amazing. And they can also monogram these with your initials if you do like. Then they've sent over their classic Juvia cover, which again is 300 thread count, and this just looks already amazing quality. And a flat sheet as well to pop on the bottom of my bed. So that is literally perfect. And then also inside, we've got a couple of other goodies. They've sent over some Pucker Nighttime Tea, which if you've watched my videos for a while, you know how much I actually love this tea. It's really good for a night's sleep. And then we've also got some Temple Spa goodies, which I've actually never tried before, but I've heard really good things. So we've got Aromatherapy Resting Cream. And then we also have a Calming Mist Quiet Shoes by Temple Spa as well that you can spray on your bed linen, which is very, very lovely. They've also included one of their towels, which just feels absolutely incredible quality, which is so, so lovely. So I'll be using that this evening to wash my face, which is very kind. And then also they've sent over a Temple Spa Siesta Forever Relaxing Aromatic Candle. Let's give this a smell. Genuinely, guys, this smells amazing. It's like lavender, a little bit of sage. Oh my dears, that is so nice. And it's very relaxing as well. It's not like a too intense smell. So I'll definitely burn that this evening as well and see how I get on. So I'm gonna start with obviously putting on the flat sheet on the bottom of my mattress. And then obviously the duvet cover, which is what um, I'm most excited about. It's a double, uh, 300, 100% cotton, 300 thread count, sorry, 100% cotton luxury. I'm so excited. And then the Oxford pillowcases, which are perfect. So yeah, let's pop all this on the bed now. I actually can't wait to go to sleep. It's not even midday and I'm like, I want to get in bed. <laughs> So I've just changed my bed linen and genuinely, I did try and iron it to get most of the creases out, but I think they'll fall um, naturally as I sleep. But I'm not just saying that this feels like the most incredible quality. This is the highest thread count bedding that I think I've ever had. In fact, it is the highest thread count bedding I've ever had on my bed at home. It's basically what you have in a hotel. So they've got two sets of the Oxford pillows and they've got the nice little detail around the outside. And like I said, you can get these monogrammed if you do wish, which obviously you could have like his and hers or matching initials or whatever you'd like. Um, and then I've just got my, obviously, juve and then the fitted sheet underneath. And honestly, it just feels absolutely amazing quality. So. On my bedside table, I'm going to put the um, other items that came in the box. I'm going to put the little candle and the spray. And I cannot wait to get into bed this evening. Genuinely so excited. I picked my mum up from the station. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're also lovely about her and Billy in the last vlog with Billy's farmyard noises. I can't do it. <laughs> Mum's in town for the whole weekend. Today is Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you go back Monday. I do. And um, we're just having a lovely little day in London because it's a tad chilly in London, although I'm saying it isn't. It is. It's cold. <laughs> it is! <laughs> it's like seven or eight degrees, which I think is cold. I feel like what I was saying earlier is just crept up on us, like it was really warm. And then now it's like, like this morning you could see your breath. You could in the north. Yeah. You, you could, oh, I swear, I swear. All right. But we're in the Marleybone area. We're going to go get some um, dinner. Well, lunch, sorry, late lunch. And then we're going to hit up some charity shops because mum is in the market to try and get like a nice winter course. Oh my god. So we've just finished up lunch and now we're in a place called Mr. Fox. Um, I actually came here quite a few months ago. Not to this one, we were in currently a different one in May for them. and mum's never been and we all passed it just like oh let's get a gin and tonic so we came it's very fancy this is the name of the place Mr Fox 
Paleolithic down below. Um, it's essentially like a botanical, um, global, it's a global inspired cocktail. It's predominantly gin, but it's got like botanical fruits, flowers, let me show you. It's like having a gin in your nan's house. It's incredible. And I'm not just saying that because of my mum. <laughs> It's very, very cool. Chose some cocktails. I'm gonna go for the orange blossom, which is bourbon, pointro, salty maple syrup, coffee, and honey. Thanks, mum. And then mum's going for a pink rose, which is Hendrix, which is one of my favourite gins, probably my favourite gin. Uh, mar maraschino liqueur, which is cherry, pink rose, lime cordial, fresh lemon, and egg white. So quite like a nice cherry drink. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cocktail that I've gone for. It has uh, bourbon and lemon bitters, espresso, salted caramel, um, and then this finished with lavender and an orange twist. And then Mum's gone for a Hendrix with rose. doing really well so I've just woken up and genuinely genuinely that was the comfiest sleep I think I've ever had in my life absolutely incredible let me show you so I've just made my bed and I've had a little coffee and croissant delivered by my mum which is so lovely it just feels like the most luxurious bed linen ever. I've just been reading the newspaper that they sent over and they're in some of the most incredible hotels across the world and London. I've actually stayed in one of the hotels where I've had this bed in and I remember saying how comfy the bed was and how it probably wasn't the bed, it was just the bed linen. Not just seeing it, but I think it's so important to get a good night's sleep because now more than ever, everyone's so busy. If you can invest a little bit in bed linen and look after it, it'll look after you, so massive massive fan of that i literally i'm already excited to get back into bed and i've just woke up <laughs> hi so um we're on our way to oh say hello morning <laughs> morning <laughs> so we're on our way to windsor today and um, mum's here as i said all weekend and we decided that we wanted to go somewhere that we've never really been before uh, can i just stop you what's that for to charge my phone oh i Why? was gonna say because i want churnage my churnage yeah okay <laughs> Demanding, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna go to Windsor today because I've never been. Obviously, Mum's never been. We are a little bit of a royalist, like we do enjoy a little bit of um, royal history and all that jazz. So yeah, we're gonna drive to Windsor. Apparently, it's an hour from our uh, house. It's not too far. It's south. No, it's not. It's north of the river. North. I actually don't know where it is. I'm not even going to pretend I know where it is. But um, I'll catch you guys once we get there. It's a little bit miserable. We haven't got an umbrella, so we've been very risky. But um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once we arrive. No. It's your right hand. Can you? to Windsor and um, it's actually chucking it down with rain which is lovely uh, we couldn't have really wrought for worse weather but we got it anyway and um, so we've nipped in through Brams and I've just got myself a little goffy just to pick me up I'm feeling a little bit yeah, <laughs> me with mum some of the best wine chin chin and um, from what we've seen so far Windsor seems very beautiful very old world I'm going to drive past the castle yeah. I mean to be fair 22.50 is not so bad for the castle, it's £22.50 to have a look around the castle, are you not? No. And then we won't go. Okay, so we've just been absolutely attacked by, um, not the swans. Parking meter. The parking meter. Nine whole English pounds. Three hours worth of car parking. I believe there would have been a place that would have been cheaper to go to, but, um, 
<laughs> With mom, something feels like we're not in Durham anymore. <laughs> and not get yourself a proper traditional pub meal. So, so we came to a place called the Carpenter's Arms and um, they've got a like, massive selection of pies and I absolutely love pie. And I've already <laughs> spotted <laughs> I love pie. So um, yeah, there's loads. I, I love a chicken and mushroom pie. Um, the peel and steak ale pie sounds very nice. I also do love a fish pie. I basically just really like pie. The pies have arrived. Oh my dears, this looks... Very, very delightful. Mum's just getting involved. Mum just went off on a wild little place to uh, this Madame Posh and came out with two macaroons. I'm not really keen on a pistachio, but you like pistachios, don't you? I'd happily have the raspberry one. Thank you. I almost feel a little bit bad because I can't really taste much at the moment, though so I'm gonna have it anyway. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, but I can taste that. Oh, they're good. Mm. There was nothing better than a chewy macaroon. Mm -hmm. If I could hear my father's voice. We've stumbled across this little die. interior shop and it's so nice. There's loads of little bits going on, little plants, the signs. I love this mirror over here as well, it's so lovely. I love these little monkey candle holders and we just bought the candle holder for £20 and you can buy the actual candles for three ninety five, and that's huge. So we've just been to some charity shops in, um, I just want to say it again, Windsor. We're in bloody Windsor, my mind's not working. Uh, there was quite a few, there's an Oxfam, there's a cancer research, there was a one, I completely forgot the name of it, it was like an independent one. And I've just bought um, some trousers and a book, I'll show you both of them when we get home. It's not really easy to do one handers, but they were absolute bargains. And mum got herself a new coat Happy from like, coat. it was like a vintage store, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like a vintage 1920s store. And it doesn't smell. That's good. <laughs> Hello everybody, so we're back from our time in Windsor. It was really, really nice actually. I imagine it would have been a lot nicer. We had some warmer weather as mum said, but it was pretty miserable when we were there. Um, but we are back in the flat now, and I thought I'd quickly show you a couple of bits I got from the charity shop. All right, so we nipped into about four or five charity shops, but I only bought two things. Mum did get a jacket. Um, do you want to show everyone your jacket? And yeah, so I got this first thing. This was... 15. 15 pounds. It's 50% wool and then the other is um, different materials, but it's very nice. It's really warm, is Good. There? It looks very nice. And then this is the second thing that we got. It's this Universal Geography with maps and illustrations. And um, this was five pounds, um, but it's really, really old. And it's just full of um, geographical maps and explanations of countries. Um, I probably won't. I mean, I might have a look through it. I'm not going to read it page for page, but I just thought it was absolutely. Amazing. I more so like the actual look of the spine. I just thought that would look really, really nice on our shelf. Uh, there we go. I got these corduroy, they look black on camera, but they're actually green in real life. Or maybe they, they're like a dark emerald green um, corduroy trouser. They're from Marks and Spencer. So they were marked up at £7, but I got them for £3.50. And they were a size... 34 waist, but I am a 32, but I had a belt and I tried them on with a belt and they fit perfectly It was from a charity shop called Helen and Douglas house and these guys help people towards the end of their lives who are really young And so people are terminally ill and I thought it was a really really lovely charity to support so yeah These are what the trousers look like. Sorry the mirror is so low and um, they're like this cord print Which is here the mirror isn't really picking them up that well, but they fit perfectly on the leg I thought it was some Doc Martens. I guess I could put those on now so yeah, with the docks and the rolled up bottoms, I think they look quite cool. So, it's a bit later on and we're having some dinner, what I make some dinner. Um, we are having our famous, well, it's not our famous, it's not my famous, it's Gusto's famous chestnut bolognese. It's one of my favourite things to make. It's completely vegetarian, you can make it vegan if you don't have the uh, parmesan on top. But essentially, this is the recipe. Um, it's really really tasty. It literally only has like a handful of ingredients or everything that you'd have like store cupboard wise apart from maybe the bass um, But super easy to do it's like five six steps. Uh, yeah, six steps a bit of garnish So um, we're already on step two. So mum's great some chestnut mush mushrooms. So we've already chopped some over here It's our fresh basil. Always a good idea to drink wine and also cook with wine. Wise mum once said that. Not you <laughs> it, um, So in a large saucepan Oh, you could do this in like a frying pan or a skillet. Um, I've just got some olive oil 
You can use vegetable oil, sunflower oil, truffle oil, I guess, whatever oil you'd like. Um, and you just want to really, really lightly fry, I'm probably just going to turn that down a little bit. Really lightly fry the onions until they go nice and soft. Um, the recipe says you should use white onions, but we've used red ones, it doesn't really matter. And if you add a little bit of salt to your onions, it actually stops them from browning so quickly, but just helps them soften, which is a good tip. So you want to soften these down for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he would say I'll be just fine. Yeah, he would tell me we And dinner is served. Cheers chin chin. Happy Friday. Happy Night night, night night. I was just about to say end the vlog as well. I'm like night night, night night. Good night guys. I'm gonna end this vlog here and it's been a really, really lovely couple of days. And the next vlog you're gonna see is gonna be a very exciting one where we actually go pumpkin picking and make the fat look very autumnal. But if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out TL as well or TL. Um, I will figure out how to actually say the name properly, but um yeah, don't forget to check out TL. I will be leaving them linked down below. I'm gonna get into bed again. I am so so excited. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys very very soon. Bye for now.